Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture we did question number 4 from exercise 9.5 and the topic of this exercise is graph of absolute value trigonometric function today we are going to do question number five but before I, I start question number five I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math watch previous lectures then will you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number five. Question number five on the same grid sketch the graphs of y is equals to absolute value 10x and y is equals to cos x for the domain 0 to 360 degree. So we will make two separate tables for tangent x and cos x. I took 60 degree intervals because from 0 to 360 degrees there are two asymptotes. Asymptotes, what are asymptotes? We will discuss, uh, we discuss a lot in exercise 9.4. Asymptotes are the angles where the function is undefined. So from 0 to 360 degrees there are two asymptotes one at 90 degrees and one is 270 degrees. So I took 60 degree intervals you can take 30 degrees or 45 degrees or whatever you want but you should include asymptotes. So for 0 degree the value is 0 for 60 degree the value is 1.73 for 90 degrees the value is undefined for 120 the value is minus 1.73 for 180 the value is 0 for 240 the value is 1.73 for 270 degrees the value is undefined for 300 the value is minus 1.73 and for 360 degree the value is 0 so first we have to sketch this graph At 0, the value is 0. At 60, the value is 1.73. So this is 1, this is 1.5 and this is 1.73. Second point. And for 90, the value is undefined. So we have to make a dotted line at 90 degrees. So this is first asymptote. Now, for 120 degrees, for 120 degrees the value is minus 1.73. But because we are doing and we are sketching the graph of absolute valued function, so this minus should be converted into plus. So for, for 120 degree, we should draw we should take 1.73 so 120 1.73 is this for 180 the value is 0 for 240 the value is 1.73 and for 270 there is an asymptote
for 300 the value is minus 1.73 but because we are drawing absolute valued function so this value should be plus so this should be 1.73 and for 360 degree the value is 0 <coughs> plot all the points you have to plot all the points <coughs> join these two points first then join these two points and these two points look like a parabola so this is the graph of y is equals to 10x but on this grid we have to plot the graph of y is equals to cos x as well so for cos x i took 90 degree intervals because uh, we don't have any asymptote in cos function so for 0 the value is 1 for 0 the value is 1 for 90 degrees the value is 0 so this is the second point for 120 degrees sorry for 180 degrees because I took 90 degree intervals for 180 degrees the value is minus 1 the value is minus 1 for 270 degrees the value is 0 and for 360 degrees the value is 1 now join these points So this is the graph of y is equals to cos x and the black one the graph of y is equals to 10x. So I hope you understand how to sketch the graph two graphs three graphs in a same grid. What is next part? Part B state the number of roots of the equation y is equal to uh, 10x absolute is equal to cos x so very very simple part b just focus how many points where two graphs are touches each other one point and this is one point Kindly in exam you don't draw the circle like I draw. I just actually explain you, but you just see how many points uh, where two curves cuts each other. So answer is number of solutions are two this is our final answer so hope you completely understand this interesting question very interesting and very easy as well graphs are the you can say graphs can easy the work graphs are the best tool 
in mathematics so you can see if you solve the equation y is equals to 10x or if you solve the equation 10x absolute function is equals to cos x it is very difficult analytically to find the number of solutions but graph did a good work graph easy this work graph can easy any work any mathematical work so this is our today's class where we did question number five what next how many questions are left six seven eight nine so i will try to complete these questions as soon as possible so if you like my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture